Dan at Marginally Clever here. We're putting together a Michelangelo 2.5.2. And we, uh, in an earlier part of this video, we put our motor mounts onto our control board. And we assembled our pin holder. And we prepared our counterweights on the wood. Now, on this board, you'll see I've marked out A2, A3, and A4 paper based on the center. It's, it's all centered on this point. This point is exactly halfway between the two sides, and that distance is the same distance I went down to get to this point. Um, I also wrote on the top edge of the board, I wrote those dimensions that I measured out in millimeters, because we'll need them later when we set up the software. So for now, You may remember I told you to keep these screws pretty loose. It saves you time when you're mounting them on here because you don't have to worry about uh, loosening them and then retightening them. There, that's on loosely. And now we tighten those screws to clamp it onto the wood. And if you look inside the corners here, all four screws should be touching on the wood. Now I'll tighten this one. If you're running the robot in the near future and you start to hear a buzzing sound, very likely what is happening is the motor, it, one of these screws is loose or this board is picking up the vibration and magnifying it. But your robot should be quiet. So what it's telling you is there's a spot that has probably come loose or that could be dampened. If you put something soft in here, that'll cut the vibration. And less vibration means less parts shaking loose. So less maintenance required. Just remember the important part is if you hear a lot of buzzing, something is loose that needs to be tightened. So. I'm putting this here because I want to get this lesson done. You can use the top holes to screw this in or you can use um, long pins that you can bend a wire coat hanger to go through the hole and loop over the wood. Double sided tape is not recommended. It will peel off when you least expect it. Fantastic. Each of these bottles, you'll remember I lit, looped zip ties over the end to make uh, a loop, and that will fit over the screw on the pen holder. So to get this in correctly, we come up from underneath on the outside edge, and then loop over, and go back down the other side. Uh, and then the loop goes over the screw. You can adjust the, the distance on the screw based on your Sharpie or your, the type of marker that you're using and the size of your window. We'll repeat that on the other side, exactly the same. I wonder if I sang really slow. Would it sound, come out, would it come out sounding normal? Uh, All right, the last arrow. Now, either one of these two pins, sets of pins on the right, it says SIR1 and SIR2, and then above it, it also says minus, plus, and S. The minus should be black, the plus should be red, the S should be the white. Okay, now we're good. The power plug fits in like so. And the USB cable fits in like so. And the pen holder is centered. 
the electronics light up, it looks like we're ready to move to the computer and start running the software. Congratulations on getting this far. This has been Dan at Marginally Clever, and you've built your Michelangelo too.